We have the pleasure of having with us today Professor Jesper Boos Nielsen, Concordium's Chief Scientific Advisor. And we're going to be talking to Jesper to find out a little bit more about what kind of science goes into creating a layer one blockchain like Concordium. Hi, Jesper. Hi, happy to be here. Can you tell me, Jesper, a little bit more now? You, you're working at, at, at Aarhus University with the Concordium Blockchain Research Center. Can you tell me a little bit more about what goes on there? Yes. So, I mean, the Concordium Foundation is, is funding a, a free research center at Aarhus University that I'm leading. And what we're doing there is we're doing basic research, like the really long term stuff. I mean, we sit down and decide, well, it looks like no one solved uh, finality. Someone should do that. Then we look at it, and then, uh, you know, one or two years later, we put out the paper. So that's the time span of the stuff we're doing there. And then we're working very tightly uh, with the science team in Concordium in the, on the commercial side. Um, we get inspired by the problems they have, you know. They say, whoa, we don't know how to decide when, quickly decide when the transaction is done. And they like, ah, oh, maybe someone should solve finality. We look at that. And we meet with them regularly. And if they have problems, you know, that come out of the, of talking to the tech team in Concordium, we can also kind of consult on that. Uh, we have a very big crypto team in, in our back at Aarhus University. There's like 30 people in, in the group in general. It's much, much bigger than kind of this uh, COPA group that it's called that, that I'm leading. Uh, so it gives, you know, the opportunity for, for them also to get feedback from, for, from uh, some top researchers and universities. So that's kind of the idea behind the setup. And then now we're looking at a number of other kind of hard problems. Um, we're looking at anonymous payments, um, which means that you can make a transfer from one account to another account and, and people looking at the blockchain cannot connect the endpoints. They can't see this account take that account. Um, in its full glory, that has also some problems with regulations, which can be, I mean, dealt with. But it's actually mainly thought as, as a mechanism, for example, to transfer between your own accounts. So let's say I have a number of accounts on the blockchain. I have one where I get my salary from Mohos University when they start using CCD. Um, yeah. I have another one that's kind of my credit card where I go shopping uh, and I put some money on that now and then. It's pro I mean, anyone at Aarhus University can see, know my uh, salary account because that's where they transfer their money. But I don't want them to know where I spend the money I get in my salary. So I don't know, need, I don't want them to know uh, my credit card account. So when I get salary in and I transfer some of them to my credit card, I want that to be anonymous. So my set of accounts yes. kind of don't get linked into a clique because there will be a lot of transfers yes. between them. So to, to decouple yeah. that and make it hard to use traffic analysis on the blockchain, uh, we primarily is looking at these anonymous transfer mechanisms. And so far, I mean, there are some good proposals out there in the space. Um, Seek has been one of them, but other solutions in the space have some drawbacks and one of the main ones for example being that if you want to pay someone anonymous the receiver has to run a full node on the blockchain so that basically you know if, if you want to anonymously pay for pizza in the pizza shop that pizza shop also accidentally have to run a full node on concordium's network mm. but not all the pizza shop not all the corner shops in the world are going to go into the blockchain business right i want to be able to show up to someone that just have a light terminal and pay them. Yes. And then they should be able to see, oh, yes, but paid me without, you know, being in the blockchain business and running a full node. Yeah. This no one knows how to do, or we know how to do it now. <laughs> We're writing up a number of, of yeah. proposals on it. Um, uh, and the next step there is actually to start writing them up because we have more than one proposal there. Uh, so we'll, we're looking at right now writing up the scientific papers. And then we'll do evaluation yes. with, with Concordium, the science team and the tech team to try to evaluate what actually makes sense in, in, in practice. Um, yeah. We're looking at a lot of other stuff. I mean, I can keep going with these. Maybe one thing that's interesting that actually maybe buys a bit into the stuff with the, with the pizza shop is what's called external agreement. And it, it's this problem in general that when you run a blockchain, there's kind of two types of people in the world, the ones that's running a full node, they're part of running the blockchain. This will be maybe a thousand, 10,000 nodes or uh, something like Concordium. And then there's the rest of the world that we also want to, to, you know, we want to use the blockchain 
all the shops, everyone, mm -hmm. you know, making contracts and stuff like that. And right now, all blockchains have the problem that only the people that's part of running it can be certain what's going yes. on on it. People outside have yes. to rely on asking someone else. They have to ask another note. Did someone pay me? But the second you do that, you start breaking, for example, anonymity. Uh, if I say, oh, the pizza right. shop says, did yes for pay me? You know, this third party knows, oh, yes, we bought pizza. And I don't want people to know how much pizza I buy. I buy too much of it. Right. Um, so in DeFi also, if you're doing uh, decentralized finance, you just want to use this blockchain as a black box. You want to put stuff in and see stuff coming out. You don't want to run a full node necessarily. Uh, and in this case, you might not want to trust a third party. You know, did I get my $10 billion? Yeah, yeah, you did. And then you didn't. Oops. Um, so we need that blockchains can, in a very concise way, prove to someone that's not part of running it what is going on on the blockchain. And that's been a big open problem. There have been solutions out there, but all of them have drawbacks, uh, like breaking yeah. anonymity of, of, of the people that ask a reader note, yeah. as it's called. And then we have a, a radically different design coming up uh, that we've been working on, where we actually solve this extremely efficient. We're very excited about that. And that, that I think will, will be one of the things that we are pushing towards Concordium to, to put into the roadmap and, and protocol stack. Yeah. Uh, so that would be something to, to look for. But first we have to write up the, the, the papers and, and put them out there. The papers, yeah. 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 yeah.